Meteorologist Jessica Kirk joining us here at the, at the desk. Jessica, we drew the short straw today because we're in the air conditioning. Uh, everyone's at Tift right now. <laughs> they're in the sun. They're getting the salt water. They are getting the wind. They're getting a lot of things out there. I know. Working out there is tough, especially yeah. when you have to be out in the heat. But I wish that I wasn't working and I was able to be out, yeah. you know, enjoying Tift, enjoying the beach, being able to get my tan on. I do not like to be out there getting a farmer's tan. That is for sure. Lots of people on the beach as we head into this evening. It is Friday, and if you do want to go to the beach on your Saturday or even for the rest of the night, we're looking at a great forecast with those temperatures going to be in the upper 80s, maybe even around 90 degrees for the high for tomorrow. We have that low rip current risk, which means it's safer to take a dip in the water. Surf temperature in the mid 80s, so nice and warm. Perfect day to go to the beach if you ask me. Now, tomorrow's going to be another scorcher for the rest of us further inland. Temperatures at around 102 degrees. Heat advisory is possible, especially for Cameron and Willacy counties. But no matter where you are, those feels like temperatures could be anywhere from 105 to 115 degrees. And the culprit is still that upper level high that's in control. High means dry, which is why we're not seeing any rain chances, which is why we're not seeing barely any clouds. As this continues to kind of push over towards the west, we're going to see much of the southern portion of the United United States in that heat. Now, the red band is where you're going to see those temperatures 10 or 20 degrees above uh, normal, so really high up there. We're still going to get, you know, warmer than normal, but I'm not sure we're going to see anything too crazy other than our feels like temperature is still crazy, right? 111, 112, up to 115 or so degrees over the next seven days. So that's going to be our story is that high sticks around is just the sunshine. And in addition, we're also going to see a bit of a breeze. We have this exact setup right now with high pressure over the Gulf and a low further to our north. So we're going to get those winds coming from the southeast up to about 30 miles per hour or so. I wouldn't be surprised if a few of us did get wind gusts over that 30 mile per hour mark. But for tomorrow, our models are looking at those coastal areas. Of course, Cameron is, and Willacy counties closer to around that 30 mile per hour mark throughout the afternoon. This is nothing that we're not used to here in the valley. We have breezy conditions a lot. I don't expect that we're going to see a wind advisor even. It's just worth mentioning as you do go outside, make sure that you're uh, holding on to your hat. Otherwise, for your midnight forecast, temperatures around 80 degrees early tomorrow morning upper 70s as you go throughout the day back up into those triple digits for just about everybody unless you're out by the coast and then we're going to repeat it all again as we go into Sunday so it's going to be a great weekend to go outside as long as you're taking those heat precautions in the tropics we don't have any new tropical cyclones expected during the next seven days of course it is August and uh, hurricane season lasts until November so we're about to hit the peak of hurricane season of course, we don't want to see a hurricane here, but we could use a little bit of rain, that's for sure. This is just going to be hot, yeah. a little bit of a breeze, and that's about it for the next seven days. It is wild to think that we are in hurricane season. We're seeing this heat, but just as you said, we're going to see some rain hopefully in the future. Hopefully, yeah. yeah. It looks like it's going to be at least seven to ten days more of this, but, you know, yeah. everybody, everybody. Stay hydrated. Fingers crossed. Fingers yeah, crossed, all that <laughs> stuff. All right, thanks, Jeff.